Now, unless you are Rip Van Winkle, for those of you that know who that is, and you have just woken up, uh, we, uh, there, there are things going on in our country as well as around the globe that, uh, that, we're, that we're well aware of, that uh, this thing called the coronavirus that now has pervaded all of our, all of our media uh, and many of our thoughts. I just want to encourage you this morning. I'll give you a few instructions, but I want to encourage you first, okay? God is sovereign, okay? Abraham Kuyper said it this way, said there's not a single square inch of all of creation that God is not sovereign over. I would tell you that that was a long time ago. I would tell you there's not one single atom that God is not sovereign over, okay? And so as a result, as a believer, we can have peace because we can trust him because we can rest in him, because we know that he holds us and he holds our future. Now, I do know that there are some that will struggle with that, that will struggle with the fact about fear and about all those kinds of things. If you do, as a believer, I I don't want you to hide. What I want you to do is I want you to take your bulletin on the back of the bulletin are listed your elders as well as those, those men and ladies that are on your staff. And if you're struggling, I want you to call us so that we can walk with you and pray with you. If you're struggling, I want you to reach out to your life group leader and talk to them, pray with them, let them encourage you, let them walk with you, okay? But I want you to know that I firmly believe that this whole incident that's going on right now is a wonderful opportunity that God has placed before all Christians, not just those at Murdoch Baptist Church, but all Christians, that we can show the world that we do have peace in the midst of hysteria, that we do have comfort in the midst of fear because of who God is. So we have the opportunity to live differently in the midst of everything going on so that when those that are fearful and those that are hysterical and those that are panicky look at you and say, what's different about you? How are you dealing with this? Boy, that's an opportunity. I'm telling you, they, they just busted the door wide open. You better walk into that and tell them about Jesus, okay? You better tell them about the Jesus that's in your life. We're going to talk about that this morning, the Jesus that's in your life. Now, listen, that does not mean that we do not need to use wisdom, okay? It means you need to wash your hands, and you need to wash them fairly often. And it's not these perfunctory kinds of things where you put the soap on and you rinse them off, okay? After life group this morning, I was in the restroom. When I got done, I went to wash my hands, and I sang Amazing Grace, the first verse of Amazing Grace as I washed my hands. I didn't sing it out loud. No one had to listen to me. I just, okay, I just sung it to myself, and then I rinsed my hands off, okay? And I used warm water or hot water, okay? Let me just encourage you to do that. Okay? When you're, when you're out and you've touched surfaces, whether you're out to eat or whether you're in the store, those, those carts or whatever, anything you touch, other people have touched, just be wise. Use a hand sanitizer. Go wash your hands. Don't touch your face. Don't touch your eyes. Don't touch your ears. Don't touch your mouth. Don't touch your nose. Just don't do that. that, that listen, this is not new advice. This has been around for ages about how we're supposed to live our life in the, in, in the area of flu. Whenever, whenever flu's out, that's what they tell us to do. We just need to be more aware of it right now, okay? So make sure you do that, okay? If you're ill, if you're sick, let me just encourage you. Watch us via, via our, our streaming on, on Facebook, okay? And, and here's the thing. You know that I like to hug people, Right? And some of you expect a hug. And some of you this morning, I saw that look in your eyes when I didn't give you a hug. You're sort of like, hmm, what's wrong with him? Is he okay? I just want to encourage you. We need to practice for just a little bit of time, a little bit of distance there. A hand bump or an elbow bump or a pat on the back, those kinds of things will be fine, okay? And we're, we, but we do not want to lessen our friendliness or our welcoming for people that come into our fellowship. We want to do that. But, but also at the same time, if someone doesn't want to fist bump with you or elbow bump with you, don't take that as an offense, Maybe they've got something going on that, we, that we're not aware of, and they just need to be a little bit more cautious. That'll be okay. 
And I just want you to know, we will do our best to sanitize areas around here so that when you come in, you can come without fear in your mind. You can come and you can worship God. I received an email from a friend and I shared this with the guys praying with them this morning, uh, that said, you know, since, since the year 2000, I have, he, he listed all these different things. He said, I've been told that I'm going to die because of this, Y2K, and H1N1. And he just listed this whole long list. I mean, it's about that long. He said, I just want you to know, he said, I'm a walking miracle. <laughs> I want you to know. I just want you to know. God is our God. We can trust him. We can walk with him. We can live without fear by trusting him, leaning into him. If you're struggling with that, call one of us, please. Don't, don't sit at home. In fact, Terry, this is what Terry said. I said, don't sit at home in your rocking chair. And he said, with the news on. Not, that's not going to help you. Okay? It's not. Okay? Call one of us. Let, us. let us talk with you and pray with you, share some scripture with you. Let us help you. Okay?